you see the thing with satan eh, is you never know the price of what you're gaining for until you taste of it a bit so you begin to walk and enjoy go and ask people who have been part of cult groups and fraternities for the first few years it will look as if there is no demand then one day at the point where your failure can affect you and affect others the devil now comes and says just to let you know it was a loan you have been collecting i'm going to calculate the loan and the interest now you are a big man and everybody knows you are a big man how do I survive the shame? Descadela kata, embrace kadila shabakata prendegedia, shadi gedesh kadeba mantebra, kepro shabikatos kadila kata, medebaratusia the opening of the eyes, jinas kabadi kata liata, grantes kade badi daka. And so many people right now are under all kinds of pressure. I must make it by any means. I will do anything. It does not matter what so there are people today joining all kinds of occultic groups all kinds of fraternities all kinds of gangs formally or informally because they desire to make it it looks like there is a way society celebrates you when you make it so finally you are rich now this guy is your own this house is your own we have all kinds of slangs that define what we call success and unfortunately our generation is perpetually under pressure there are many people right now carrying self-inflicted burdens loads and luggages that did not come by god because of the pressure to prove a point there is bad success that the more you press your spiritual life is dying I must make the money by all means I must marry by all means I must have the child by all means I must grow up go abroad by all means it does not matter what happens to my spiritual life your prayer life is dying it doesn't matter let me just make the money no at the end of it you will find out that what you left for what you have was not worth it did you hear what I'm saying because for many people we have this idea especially about money now i'm not downplaying all these things i'm teaching you on success already but many people have this idea that if you fail in every aspect of your life but you finally have some money either by a good job a good business at least let you have a house a car and something they just feel you are all right it is a deception of the devil are we together there is bad success unfortunately bad success seems to be more fashionable than good success because of the price and the protocol it takes to attain unto good success it looks too long the process looks too cumbersome i can cheat my way and manipulate my way into good success many of us probably there are some of you right now hearing me and listening to me God sent you here today because you are about to make careless and even foolish decisions because of this obsession you have covenanted with yourself that this year 2023 especially that God has declared unto us prophetically that is a year of open doors I have told you even a prison has doors so just because a door is open you need to find out where you are entering hallelujah bad success our world is full of bad success people cheat people kill people join fraternities they will tell you go and bring your mother as a sacrifice and you say it doesn't matter she was going to die anyway the only thing is that i'm just hurrying up the, the time hmm. you see the thing with satan eh, is you never know the price of what you're gaining for until you taste of it a bit so you begin to walk and enjoy go and ask people who have been part of cult groups and fraternities for the first few years it will look as if there is no demand then one day at the point where your failure can affect you and affect others the devil now comes and says just to let you know it was a loan you have been collecting i'm going to calculate the loan and the interest now you are a big man and everybody knows you are a big man 
how do I survive the shame so your firstborn not Abraham's kind of Isaac or this one you are killing your son everything that would desire you leaving the Lord every kind of success that would desire you compromising on your relationship with the Lord to attain unto I am telling you this is deception you are only leaking poison that was sugar coated with sugar it's only a matter of time it will be like a dart to your heart is someone learning yes there are many many people today to take God to help them because they have dabbled into all kinds of satanic things and that includes preachers there are some of you when you see what God is doing with our lives you admire it so much and someone will tell you look there's a way there's a way we do this there's a way ministry is done there's a way they can wash your eyes there's a way you can prophesy there is a way you can get money for ministry it looks very attractive and marketable after all I suffered you would say and let me tell you the truth don't say it can't happen to me just say God show me mercy because you see the devil is not a fool he will not come to you when you have options he will allow life to press you to a point many of you do not know what the human being can do under desperation by the time you see that your mother is dying somebody will now come to you and say I told you except you don't love your mom. there's a place I can pay the transport for you and you say mama you 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 gave too much for me it can't be that I'm a failure and I could not help my mother and you will get into things that you did not imagine Satan will not come to you when you are just a fresh graduate you are bubbling with every revelation he will wait till after five years no job no job no nothing no husband no child no nothing and then he will, he will use your friend to speak and say now nah, for you if this is your definition of Christianity I rather be a non-believer you will say it doesn't matter but you enter the room and start crying and say God this is unfair I, I believe that I did everything to be successful this is what is killing there are people who cannot come out today esteem problems have affected so many people because many years ago you would see them and think they would be so successful they carried the semblance of a champion but years after it looked like their lives have been reduced to almost nothing I announce to you set yourself free by this teaching tonight there is bad success when you say you are admiring people make sure you first define the kind of success you are looking at are we together now because there is the kind of success where you now see someone a millionaire today traveling around the world but you check his spiritual life the fire that was there is no longer there the love for Jesus that was there is no longer there there are many people who go abroad and return back unbelievers people who were prayer warriors fasting giants and you ask them they tell you forget all that thing well, it's just poverty that makes Africa behave this way uh -uh, uh -uh. Hallelujah. So there is bad success. And I'm giving you the indices to measure it. Number one, that any kind of success pursuit that will demand that your spiritual life dies as the condition for attaining it. And then number two, the kind of result that demands that you hurt and wound other people. You see, let me tell you this. Once upon a time, the Bible talks about David. And David said, oh, that I would drink of the pool of Bethlehem. And the Bible says he is mighty man. These were men he had trained. They said, you've trained us so much. Is this what you want? Consider it. They went and tore down a troop. I mean, they massacred people and went and fetched the water and said as you have demanded 
David said, I cannot drink this again. There are too many lives that went for this. That is a man with conscience. But there are people who do not care. Who dies, who goes through pain, which family goes through penury. Let me just make it. Even if it's my brother that dies, let him die. Let me just make it. And some of us, there is a growing desperation. Because you will come into a circle of people want to make it in ministry want to make it in business want to make it in life and it does not matter what I must make it in ministry I want results anyhow I want a name I want fame I'm telling you that there is bad success because there are many people you admire today the clock is only ticking are we together they have compromised on their Christian life and they have the cause of many people are upon their head. There are business people today carrying the cause of too many people. There are families today carrying the cause of too many people. Most of us, this issue of generational causes and the rest, it came because of times of wickedness that were done by forefathers except for the revelation of the finished work of Christ and now administering the blood with understanding some of us our grandfathers were herbalists by the time they were slaughtering certain women they made pronouncements I may die but your children will pay that price and he said still die now you came up through that loin and you find out that everything good to work for you that speaking Abel though dead yet speaketh when the saints die their words don't die there are people some of our people that were part of the massacre missionaries some of you were part of the pain of many people the bible says the curse of the lord is upon the house of the wicked i'm reminding you that there is bad success so that you don't start clamoring for everything we go on the internet today and there are many people marketing different models of success as a young lady there is what they teach you this is the happening thing now if you are not doing it you are not in fashion as a gentleman there are things you must have where is your car where are your designers where are your snapshots around the world you are not making it and there's that pressure and many of you are already deviating from the path that leads to authentic glory into the path of chasing shadows whereas when you started with God the road you were following may look slow but that is the road that will take you there the road of prayer you didn't have money but there's no night that you will not pray for one hour or two hours later on someone told you what is there in prayer what is there in studying the word you will keep reading the bible like a fool till you become a failure now you said this bible thing i'm tired of it let me start using then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and thou shalt have good success as a preacher they told you there is a way to raise money you can bring in somebody to come and manipulate people and you will get money and after all that manipulation all that you got was 300,000 and God said is this what you replace me for for 300,000 when I can call nations to come and stand with you you have reduced me and put me side by side with 300,000 all right so be it and you find out that that 3,000 will be spent treating a mysterious sickness that the doctors would not be able to diagnose and yet someone else will be sitting down quietly serving the Lord sincerely and saying Lord I know I got up drinking Gary but I trust you I will follow your path with dignity and honor and one day it will look like magic God will lift that person and you say I used to know this say bad success say good success good success is the kind that ultimately brings glory to God and then becomes a blessing and an inspiration to your generation let me repeat again that good success is the kind of pursuit that ultimately brings glory to God and then will allow your life and your results to be an, a blessing and an inspiration to a generation that when someone is advising either their child when someone is advising someone somewhere he will say listen follow this model there is a path that has been earmarked for you 
may your name become a model for someone in the name of Jesus may your life become a model that every time someone wants to inspire their child or their staff you are the name that will readily come to mind there are names today we do not call our children even though they are in the Bible for instance Lucifer for instance Judas Iscariot are we together you will hardly find people carrying those names and if for any reason they give children the names they just wait patiently until they are adults they quickly go to the court and change it and say God forbid I'm not the one who will carry that kind of course your banner high we shine your light so bright we'll sing in honor of you lord we will raise your banner high we will shine your light so bright we'll sing in honor of you listen Many years ago, in this same Zaria, many years ago, there were people who were doing ministry. Now, I'm, I'm just saying this to inspire you. Those days, ministry was almost like becoming a god. There were people who were doing ministry. You would think in two years, they were going to sweep the whole world. They would compromise on anything just to make a name. I remember a gentleman then he met me and said apostle with the kind of well not they did call me apostle then but with the kind of anointing you have he said you should you would be a, a bishop in other ministries i just laughed and i appreciated him he said carry your bad success and live my life now let me tell you the truth i'm saying this not to be sarcastic i remember it, I mean, it was programs after programs, things after things. There used to be people with all kinds of things. Young people on campus, but with protocol, with this, with all kinds of things. Ah! I mean, ministry then, hold my Bible, hold my hand, hold my this, hold my that. Over nothing, absolute nothing. It was not their fault. There were models they were following. And unfortunately, I say this with every sense of responsibility, many of those people alongside their models have faded out completely because God is not a fool. Are we together? One day, I went to minister somewhere, quite some years now too. I went to minister somewhere and when I was done ministering, I was invited to the pastor's office just to have some time before I would leave. And the gentleman who ushered me, I just looked at his face. And he was very similar. I said, ah, are you not so, 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 and so? And he said, yes, sir. My heart dropped. I wanted to say, what happened? This gentleman was then a vibrant, look, when they told you to point the people who are going to take the world, huh? point the people who may even retire Benny Hinn, you would call these names. And now you are asking, what changed? Now, I'm not saying this so that you laugh at people. It is that it can happen to you if you don't listen. Are we together? You see, the unit of destiny is time. Say time. Shout it again. The unit of destiny is time. Whatever you give your time to, you are giving a part of your life to. And let me tell you the truth, Time does not go backward, it only goes forward. Whether you waste it, whether you spend it, whether you invest it, time goes forward. Many of you can remember when you were 10 years, 15 years, 20. Now look at you, 30, 40 and all of that. Every time I come to Zaria and I look at our wonderful children, I am amazed. Some of these children were dedicated here. You see that the same way our parents look at us and they say look at these children now they are the ones doing this that is the deceptive brevity of life so it says to walk circumspectly as wise and not as unwise redeeming the time it says for the days are evil some of you are wasting your time joking around not paying attention to God not knowing that it takes time 
to know God. It takes time to build valuable relationships. And a day will come, prepared or not, the stage of your destiny will open up. It is a terrible thing to rehearse on stage. The stage is not for rehearsal. It's for manifestation. Now that you are in the wilderness, you must learn how to kill the bear. You must learn how to kill the lion. Don't stand and rehearse the day you stand before Goliath. Goliath is not a toy. Is someone learning? Bad success. Can you say your spiritual life has been as robust as it was? Can you say your prayer life, fasting, loving the Lord, passion for the house of God? Apostle, I don't know when it went down. Because me, I need to make money. That's my own. It's my goal this year. Congratulations. But if it is at the expense of your spiritual life, I'm telling you, you are already headed towards a dead end. Because a man can receive nothing. Please listen to me. A man can receive nothing. You see, eh? if God does not help you in life, it will keep looking like you will almost make it. But that's how your years will pass. Pajanji so. 